have been walking for what feels like an age. Surely we are almost there. My legs feel like they're made out of rubber. <laughs> I know, I know that I asked for this, and I don't mean to complain or seem ungrateful. I am grateful. I am very, very grateful, more so than you realize. I just... Oh, this walking is getting to me. It is dampening my mood. I was so excited before, but now... <sighs> it's just... So far... Hey... Do you have any water? I'm thirsty. Oh, really? Thank you. of off. You... You can have it back. But, um... I do feel a little better, so... Thank you. Three miles? We've walked three miles already? Well, of course. Of course three miles is a long distance. I am a princess. My legs are simply not built to be in use for such a long, arduous period of time. A princess should not be using her legs to walk so far. The very idea is absurd. I know. I am aware there was no opportunity to acquire a horse. I know this. I know that. And I know that we should be moving faster too. But I am walking as quickly as I can manage. This is difficult for me. This much. And... And you do not need to make fun of me for it. I am aware of my shortcomings. I am in fact very sensitive about them for your information. So I... I know I am weak. <sighs> How long do you think it'll take them? 
I'm gonna figure it out. Huh? Do you think they know already? It's turning to night, so... They may not have realized that I crawled out of my window. There's no reason they should have been suspecting me. I reacted as apathetically as I could to... to what my father told me. Now assume that we are not traveling by foot. I think by horseback or by carriage. After all, it is very difficult to get far by foot. Especially when you are with me. I'm quite awkward to travel with, I know. But they will search far. Don't you think? We'll lay low for several weeks close by and then... Then we might have a good chance of escaping somewhere far. How much further is... the village that you told me about? Four more miles. Uh. No, that is not a problem. Not in the slightest. I have told you that my body may not be built to travel such distances, but I am far more determined than I am physically weak. This is what it takes. Then this is the least I shall do. I could walk 100 miles if it meant that I escaped that. <sighs> An arranged marriage. <laughs> How preposterous. In this day and age. Surely I should be able to at least choose my own suitor. I know. I know you do not enjoy hearing of me complain about this. I know that it is an awkward subject for you. But I am very aggravated still and... And I want to get this off of my chest. My doctor has told me it is not good for my health to keep my worries in. You should want to listen to me complain, no matter how many times you already have. I've chosen you, out of all of our knights, to accompany me. How stubborn and ungrateful you are. I would think that you should be far more honored to be by my side for something as important as this. Important to me is this. It was very difficult for me to trust people. And it was very hard for me to find someone who I could trust for something like this. It's not like you were the only option that I had. You were just... Just... <sighs> You're smirking again. I see. <laughs> well, smirk away, knight. It does not affect me. Not in the slightest. Fine. 
I apologize. I didn't mean to go off like that. Is that enough for you? I just... I still don't understand how this works. Any of this. I have never been this far outside of the castle on foot, and well... <laughs> I am afraid. I am glad that you are here with me. And for the record, nobody else would do. No other night. I really did have other options, but growing up, the majority of our nights have been stiff, difficult to converse with. You are the very first that has spoken to me in such a way, treated me like a person, not just a princess. You are the very first person ever who has treated me like more than an item. Like... I'm someone with something to say. With thoughts and feelings. You laugh at my jokes and mock me when I say something embarrassing or idiotic. Nobody has ever conversed with me as an equal before. <sighs> That's why it had to be you, of course. I couldn't bear an indefinite journey with one of the other blonde knights. Nobody else cares how I feel about the marriage, so I thought that I could count on you to save me. I was so worried asking you, greatly so. I was sure that you would say no, anyone rational would after all. If did get caught, well, very bad things would happen. <laughs> so we must be very intelligent about this, about our escape, uh, about... Well, I don't understand very much about the world, so you'll have to teach me. That's exciting, I think. To be free, there's so much to learn that I'm going to learn. <laughs> I've been waiting for this push for my entire life. Even as a little girl, I, I grew up being told what was in store for my future. Even then I wanted out. I knew what I'd have to do one day, and I disliked it, and it scared me. I did not quite understand exactly what arranged marriage entailed until my father told me about the suitor. It was a wake-up call that stopped being fiction to me, it stopped being something out in the distant future, something that I didn't have to worry about yet. It became so real in that moment. 
my chest was so tight as we had that conversation. I felt like I would collapse. How scary it is to have your entire life taken away from you in one moment. Selfish. I know that that bad things could happen because of my choice. But I do not want to live a life where I have no choice, no freedom, where everyone treats me as if I'm an object, a prize to be won. You are the only person who has ever treated me like a real person. And I am so thankful to have you at my side now. I'm not very good at expressing my feelings, so... I'm sorry if I came across too strongly there. I just started talking and... <laughs> We're not even halfway, are we not? I can keep going. You don't need to stop for my sake. Like I said, I can endure this. This is nothing compared to the threat of what happens if I stay. You do not need to treat me like a child. I know my own limits. I... <sighs> Just for a minute, then. Alright? Seriously. I will be fine again if we rest for just a moment. in the morning. I'm sure. We should be at the village by then, right? It is getting quite dark now, too. But we should be safe through the night if we keep moving. Darkness is cover. Darkness is strength. I trust you. You know that? Even if there is any wildlife around, you'll take care of it, right? <laughs> The 
village that you told me about. Is it a nice place? I've never seen a small village myself. I'd love to look around once things quieten down. You think we'll be safe there? Even though it's so close by. Hiding in plain sight, hmm? I guess you're right. I'll be honest. I don't really understand strategy so well. But you are right. So I suppose you may know more than me on this matter. If you think that's the best choice, then I trust you. <laughs> they will search hard for me, won't they? After all, my arranged marriage, it is supposed to be quite good for the kingdom. It would unite this country and the other. It would. It would be good for the people of the villages nearby. For my family. And it is so unfair for me to have that kind of pressure on my shoulders. For me to not have that choice. Maybe if they had asked me. Maybe if they had given me the opportunity to choose. Maybe then. Maybe then I would have chosen what is best. I'm childish, selfish, don't you think? I know. You were raised in the village, weren't you? But you're faithful to me, instead of the kingdom. Instead of the village, who do you enjoy being a knight? If you betrayed the kingdom so easily, then I'm just trying to wrap my head around why. Why you'd agree to help me escape so easily, too. I was preparing a list of reasons why you should, trying to think of as many ways as I could to convince you. And yet, when I asked, you just agreed. I almost couldn't believe it. You're awfully fast to betray your country, you know? <laughs> I'm joking, of course. <laughs> but, even if everyone hates you, even if they put a bounty on your head, I'm eternally grateful. I might not be able to understand why, but... Thank you. I'll try to make it up to you one day. Okay? Be 
even if I'm caught, I'd just get into trouble. But you, if they caught you, you'd be... It's a big risk to take, right? Even if you want to help me. The idea that somebody would take that huge risk for me... I... I don't understand. all of a sudden. I suppose now that I've sat down, all of the walking has gotten to me. I know I said just a moment's rest, but just one more, okay? And then we'll move. something so huge for me to, to throw away everything that you have going for you and and stay by my side instead and then I can't even walk further than a few miles without feeling sleepy And I thought I was so dedicated and so excited to. <sighs> but now I just feel tired. <laughs> Thank you for being so patient with me. I'm so glad that you're here. I knew I could count on you. I'm so glad I have you. I could never have done this by myself. against your shoulder for just a little okay not too long I have to keep moving it's just my head my head is spinning it'll only be a brief so, so wait. 
you to my patrons of June 2019. Thank you to Despachi, Disaster Sama, Cameron Anderson, Sagamaga, Suspenser, That Saxophone Guy, Big Daddy Swag, Alan Fink, That's Lost, Cherizu, Stefan Mox, Deadpool 69, Guy Hutton, Mysterine Roast, Rob, Ashamani, Shoulder Claw, Leffrey, Little Man Mike, Emil Barvich, Khaled Ball, Guy Ballion, Amazon, Sword, Rick Hartson, Zeshgar, JX92, Wyatt Raven, Rim, John Michi, Doc Quaaludes, Jason Gamiel, Levy, Wet Cat, Goldfell, Kim, Miles Rossin, Sir Billard, Ballistic Boomer, Docky Perky, The Potato Guy, Yanu123, Tamamama Maya, B. Yoshi, Dildo T. Baggins, Matthew McDonald, and Stephen Ong. Thank you all for your support, and I will see you. In the next video.